Welcome to physics class. In this part, we are going to talk about motion in one dimension. We will solve the problem of free fall. These are the equations we use to solve the problem for motion in one dimension. That means no matter what is the problem you will be given for motion in one dimension, this is the equations you will need. The equation for average velocity, the equation for average acceleration, the equation for the displacement. Now, let's do an example. Okay, we have this example. A ball is dropped from the top of the cliff with an initial speed of 10 meters per second. It strikes the ground after five seconds. How high is the cliff, assuming there is no air resistance? Now, we before we do anything, we need to make a table. Then this table, we said it has to have five things. The displacement, the displacement, the velocity at any time, initial velocity, acceleration, and time. Then we go sketch the, uh, the problem. Make a sketch to see what we have. We said we have a cliff. Then we say this from this cliff, there is a ball that was dropped. And this ball, it had a velocity of uh, 10 meters per second. Uh, let me clean this. Velocity V0, initial velocity of 10 meters per second. Then it took for this ball to reach the floor, it took a time of five seconds. The objective is to find how high the cliff is, the height of the cliff. This is the question found the height of the cliff. In this case means we are looking to find, we need the delta y. This is what does mean, is to find delta y. The reference is very important to see what, we, what is our origin, what is your y positive, y negative, etc. Our origin all the time, we take it to the initial position of the object and call it y0 equals 0. All the time, take your origin is zero. The problem will be easy to solve after. Then you choose your y-axis vertically upward if you want to. Or if you want, you can choose it downward by a prefer. Upward is y positive and east x positive. Upward positive means anything that is dropped downward will be negative. Now, my initial velocity in this case will be negative because it's going downward to my reference, which I suppose positive. So I put V0 negative 10 meter per second. Now, this object is on free fall, means it's under acceleration of gravity only. Now, this acceleration, the Earth will be pulling downward. That means your acceleration of gravity will be downward. So the what that means, the acceleration is vector, what we said last time. Uh, this vector has a magnitude which is 9.8 meters per second squared and has a direction in this case is downward and we represent downward with negative y. This is what we have, negative 9.8 meter per second squared in y direction. Now, and this is our acceleration. Now, in this case, I put negative. 9.8 meter per second squared. Let's clean this. This we say this negative 10. Negative 10 meters per second. Now, what I have? I have also the time. We say the time is 5 seconds. I put 5 seconds. Remember last time when I, we talked in part 2, we said the instructor, he will give you three things. And you need to find the two others from the equations I give you in the part two of this video. Let me put these equations. We said the, the average velocity will be the initial velo the the velocity at any time plus the velocity at origin divided by two or equals also the displacement y minus y zero if we go vertically over delta t or t. The acceleration also, we say, is the final velocity minus initial velocity over time. Also, we say delta y is one-half 
acceleration times t squared plus v0 times t. The last one is v squared equals v0 squared plus a uh, v0 squared plus twice the acceleration times delta y. Now, which equation would I have the delta y? Is this one. So I go to this one, I see what it has. I have this one and this one. I have two of them. Delta y, the, the last equation and the, this one. So which one I need to use? So you look to your givens, you see the one that has uh, that has one in known in equation. So the best one would be delta y, which is one half a times t squared plus v zero times t. This is the one you need to use to solve problem because the last one we don't know v the final velocity just before it strikes the ground. This v means the final velocity before it strikes the ground. We don't have it. Now, the best one is this one. We plug the, the answer here. We have delta y will be one half of negative 9.8 times uh, 5 squared plus v0, which is uh, negative 10, negative 10 times 5. Uh, remember the unit you be in meters because uh, this is in meter per second squared. This is in second squared, second squared over second squared vanishes. 10 meter per second times the second, per second, it vanish, the second vanishes. The only unit we have is in meters, which is the delta y, the height in meters. Huh? So do the math, you'll be half of negative 9.8, you'll be negative 4.9 times 25 minus 50. Now in this case, you do the, the math, you'll be negative 172.5 meters. This is what will be our delta y. Now the answer to this question, delta y is, is negative 172.5 meters. Remember the height is the magnitude, is the length of this cliff now the height should be positive, which is 172, h 172.5 meters. Now, uh, if I ask a question, find the velocity of the object, let's say another a, a question, find the velocity of the object just before it hits the ground. It's about to hit the ground, what will be the speed of the object or velocity? Remember, the velocity is the magnitude and direction. So the magnitude will be the speed and direction will be downward. So when you calculate the velocity, in this case, you'll be negative. If I ask you for the speed, you'll be just the magnitude of velocity. Now, let's do the last example. Uh, if I, I want to find the velocity of the object before it strikes the ground, what I will do, I will use, I have the choice. I can use the equation of acceleration and solve for the final velocity, then uh, I have the time, I have the acceleration, initial velocity, I can use this equation to solve the problem, or I can use this one also. Remember, when you use the last equation, because you will have two solutions. So the one, the two solutions for the square of velocity, means the velocity will have two solutions. You take the negative one, because your object will be heading south with velocity south uh, downward. So your velocity will be negative, means take the negative solution. Um, now, if you take uh, this equation, it will give you straight answer. Now, let's solve this. Okay, let's solve for the velocity of the object just before it hits the ground. We, like I said, we can use either this equation or this one. Now, let's say if we want to use the first equation, we said we have two solutions. That means your V will be plus or minus square root of V0 squared plus twice A delta Y. For the second one, you'll be V, the final velocity will be AT plus V0. Now, either one should have the same answer. Let's do the calculations. V equals plus or minus square root of v0 we say this 10 squared plus twice factor of 9.8 factor of 
factor of 172.5 because we have delta y. Remember, this is negative and this is negative, it will be positive. The square of negative 10 will be positive. That means everything inside the square root will be positive. Uh, but remember, we will have two values for v. The one we are going to take is the negative one. Why? Because the object is hidden south, it will be the velocity will be downward, so we'll take a negative value. Now, for the second equation, we just plot uh, uh, our acceleration, which is negative 9.8, factor of 5, minus, yes, this is, is negative 10. Remember, the unit will be in meters per second, because the acceleration is in meter per second squared times the time which is in second you'll be uh, uh, you, we cancel second with second squared we have just meter per second okay so for this one it will be negative 59 meters per second now this is what will be the velocity this means velocity this is the speed watch this is the speed which is the magnitude of velocity called speed and this is uh, the direction Direction means we are heading south with a speed of 59 meter per second. Now, let's do the other calculation. I got 59 meters per second. The same thing, we should find 59 meters per second. We said we the two values will be plus or minus, but we are going to take the negative value. This is this answer confirm as the ones of this equation. So this is how we do it. Make sure you make table and you need to understand the definition of average velocity and average acceleration. Once you have these two definitions, you can construct the third equation, this one and the equation of displacement. Once you have this, you put your equations down and then make table, look to the givens. I say the instructor, he will give you three things directly or indirectly. That means, uh, let's say, for example, if it tells you we drop the object from the cliff, it doesn't give you the initial velocity. That means it's indirectly giving you initial speed is zero. So make sure you put your givens in your table, then put your equations and look what is the question is about, and then go straight to the question by looking to your equations. Thank you.